Topic number two, the New Orleans Saints reports have dropped this morning that they're reportedly uh, have been giving Taysom Hill starting reps in practice is not only expected to start against the Falcons, but the other report that dropped is that there will be no packages at all for Jameis Winston. And I'm not going to lie, guys, when I saw that, I was pretty surprised. So when you saw that news, what were your reactions? Well, for me, when I read it, I was like, wait, like um, Sean Payton is going to go with a Wildcat quarterback against against the Atlanta Falcons, a divisional game at that. I mean, I just felt like what was the purpose of bringing Jameis then, like to back up Breeze in case if Breeze would have got hurt. And last time I checked, Jameis Winston threw over 5,000 yards, over 30 touchdowns last season, even though he led the league in interceptions. But wouldn't you go with the guy that's more experienced than a Wildcat quarterback? Even though back in college now, guys, he was not a, he was not a top-notch quarterback. He was just an average quarterback. And I'm going I'm to read you his college stats right now because right now I'm just like, it doesn't make no sense. His college career total, he has 43 touchdowns and, and um, 31 interceptions. His senior year alone, he had 12 touchdowns and only 11 interceptions. So in my mind, I'm asking, okay, so how, like, I want to know how, I want to know how is this game plan going to work against this Falcons defense? You get what I mean? Like, I just feel like, Taysom Hill, he's not, he's not an ideal starting quarterback right now. I believe the position that he's playing right now, that, you know, that was fit him. But to start him over Winston, it's just despicable, in my opinion. Yeah, when I look at this, I, here's the first thing that comes to mind. All I'm going to say is, when you guys have watched Taysom Hill and the Saints play over the last couple of years, has there ever been a moment when you guys have watched him and say, okay, that's the guy who I want to be my team's future franchise quarterback? Because I've never watched the Saint game and thought that. And for me, where I was really confused was the Saints offense, the way it was set up with Drew Brees, is that it's a very sophisticated passing offense. And I'm not under, I'm not sure why Sean Payton all of a sudden is going to go to that, the very sophisticated passing offense with all the finesse route running to the wildcat formation. And I feel like pre-Drew Brees injury, Taysom Hill had the best job in America. He was out here making $16 million <laughs> for a couple of uh, trick plays on offense and to play special teams. And I agree with Cam. I'll take that job any day of the day or <laughs> week. <laughs> exactly. And, and for me, I, I think, Will, I think you brought this up actually a couple of weeks ago. We were talking about Jameis Winston and Bruce Arians and how exactly that marriage worked out in Tampa Bay. And I remember you saying that Bruce Arian, his attitude is the risk it, no, no risk it, no biscuit. And that really hurt Jameis Winston and his skill set and the way he's playing. Because when you have such an aggressive passer like that, I don't think a guy who encourages you to throw, throw, throw is necessarily the best fit. I actually really liked the fit by Jameis Winston going to New Orleans because I thought he could really learn from Sean Payton, Andrew Brees, and the amount of skill position players that they have around him. And to be honest, when Drew Brees got hurt against San Francisco, I did assume, like many other people, that Jameis was going to be the starter going forward. And I'm not going to lie. You guys know I have not been high on the same team at all, but I was pretty excited. I was like, you know what? Jameis could throw the ball downfield. They could get Michael Thomas going, which they haven't really done yet. And now that they're starting Taysom Hill, I agree with Cam. I don't get this decision at all. And he's a wildcat quarterback. I just don't understand how you're going to win in the NFL like that. And this is why I'm not the biggest Sean Payton fan. I don't know why you would make a move like this, especially in today's NFL, especially when you, if you, even if you wanted to split reps, okay, whatever, I get it. The Saints have just had no vertical passing game at all. And I feel like Jameis would have been the right guy to give it to. Well, I, would, I agree with 99.9% of what you said, Zach, until the last thing you said. I was on a, a trend of where I was going to agree 100% with you. And there's one thing you say that caused it to be a, a less than a percent of 100% of me agreeing with you is in today's NFL, we can argue in today's NFL, a guy like Taysom Hill could fit in today's NFL. It just has to be, to be more to the skill set. Have you seen him do that as a quarterback though? Cause I haven't. Well, when, the, when I'm, what I'm saying is that basically there's a lot of guys like uh, Lamar Jackson or Kyler Murray. Let's okay. be real. Let's be real here, Zach. Okay, wait, wait, Lamar Jackson is not a downfield of the guy thrower. He's right, more of a wildcat. <laughs> You know, and that's what I'm saying. In today's NFL, if you yeah, have the right coach, you can adjust the offense to Taysom Hill's strengths. That's what a great coach can do. So that that's the only thing I would disagree. Is like it's not this is not a league whereas it was ten years ago where you had to be a pocket passer throwing the ball down right, the field. But, but is right, but okay, I agree and I see what you're saying. I was just correcting you on that. Right. I just I just think that at the same time though. 
there like you cannot put Taysom Hill in the same category as either of those two guys. And I know yeah, you're no, but I, I was just no, correcting I a, not, a statement that you made in today's NFL. You know what I'm right, saying? I was just I was I'm just saying that at the same time, like I just think those expectations are way too unreasonable. And if you want to win games, even if you're asking Taysom Hill to come anywhere close to that, I just I think mean, it's when you, based when you on think about it, how many quarterbacks won on high stages or and in, in, in won a lot of games that you see them on a different team and they not the same quarterback. Do I need to mention Nick Foles? Do I, you know you you have the right system, the wait, right wait, wait. So, okay. put in what's place? The wait, what's the point? Just, my my yeah. point is that you don't need. Yeah, yeah. See, y'all not understanding me. Y'all not understanding the real little logic. What I'm saying <laughs> is that a right coach makes a quarterback success as well. Having the right coach to get you in positions to set up the offense where you can succeed. Not every. Um, quarterback is a Tom Brady with a gifted arm that can make certain throws under pressure. It's up to the coach. 98% of the quarterbacks in the league are system quarterbacks. They have to be a right system in place for right. them to succeed. I get it. So that's what I was just saying to your point, where you say in today's NFL. In today's NFL, Taysom Hill can feel, fit right in. But I don't believe Taysom Hill should have been the guy going with the Saints. That's why I said 999 a percent of what you said I agree with. I do agree that Jameis Winston should have been the guy simply because when you look at um, Taysom Hill's physical attributes, he doesn't put a lot of steam on deep balls. There's, there's not a lot of air underneath on deep balls. When we The little sample size we got when he was doing out of Wildcat and he threw the ball down the field. Sometimes he has trouble processing reads and stuff like that. So I thought having a guy like Jameis Winston, who was very experienced, um, who threw for 5,000 yards last year, I thought a guy like Emmanuel Sanders could have excelled because he's a guy that's fast that could, you know, blow the lid off the defense and be a deep thought target that Jameis Winston could have hit down the football field. I didn't think Emmanuel Sanders fit with Drew Brees um, when Drew Brees was playing because he's not a short route guy. He's a deep route guy. So I thought that, you know, I think Sean Payton may have outsmarted himself. But I remember your famous saying throughout the years, Zach, that um, Sean Payton is an overrated coach. If he's able to win with Taysom Hill and set the offense up, for where Taysom Hill could use his skill sets and they win games, then we that that notion is out the window because Just, let's remember they um, won they went five and zero without they went five and zero without Drew Brees last year with Teddy Bridgewater. So if they're able to pull this off, I don't see it working because I don't think T Taysom Hill is talented enough. A guy with his skill sets, if he was able to throw the ball down the field a little bit better, then it would probably be able to work. I think um, Sean Payton outsmarted himself, but if it works, if it works. You know what I'm saying? I think Sean Payton is a, is a genius if, if he's able to pull it off. But I just don't think he will. All I'll say to that is I just need to see the Saints win a playoff game, maybe one, maybe two, because that's something they haven't really been able to do over the last couple of years, especially last year, losing at home to Kirk Cousins in a playoff game. That just can't happen, especially when you haven't made the Super Bowl in 10 years. So that's all I'm looking for. I mean, I just want to know this. Do you guys believe that there was something behind why, why Payton didn't want to go with Winston? Like he chose, like... Yeah, I think he likes. I think he's obsessed with Taysom Hill. To be honest, I don't. I don't understand why Sean Payton has this weird obsession with him. Man, uh, he's a fine he, player. If you want to, not the only one. The teammates have an obsession with him. No, you see when he comes in, into the field for those little plays that the, the offense no, and the defense and the sideline is energized. But who is deciding those plays, dude? It's one thing for the teammates to like it and everything, but I'm just saying as a football fan, every time, I, except for that Buck game, and that was, you know, I think I mentioned it on the show. They did a good job using him there. But really, besides that game, bro, I just think every time usually they bring in Taysom Hill, it ruins the flow of the offense. I usually criticize them for it. Kenny C. and I talk about it all the time. When the Saints were in Green Bay this year, or excuse me, at home against Green Bay, that game was tied late in the fourth quarter. They were driving down the field. They gave it to Taysom Hill on a handoff when Drew Brees was humming. He fumbled the ball, and that's ultimately what won the Packers the game. I haven't seen anything from Taysom Hill to make me think that he could be a successful starting quarterback in this league. And I feel like Sean Payne just has a weird obsession with him, and I'm not sure why. And I will say this, back to the same point that I was, you know, picking oh on with you God, with on. the 99.9% .9 is that had Sean Payton made this move post Drew Brees era, Drew Brees retirement, then I'm all for it because you're, you're testing something out. So you have the training camp. So it could have worked, um, let's say, next year if that's the route that you wanted to go. So I, I wouldn't have been mad at that. But the fact of the matter is, you're in the number one seed right now. You're on the on winning streak. I would have went the safest route with going with Jameis Winston simply because you want to finish out your, your regular season so when Drew Brees come back, y'all can take it from there. So 
it's just that at this situation right now is why I'm not in favor of it. But if this is something they want to pursue next year, post Drew Brees when he retires, then I'm all for it. This is a new league. This is a new era. They can probably make it work. But at this point right now where it stands, Jameis Winston should have been the guy starting. 